There's no way they can let this die down We put two of their guys on the news I don't wait for the sun to die down Man still drill when the sky is blue This CJ money don't need it The last boom that I done was decent Slim track I can't got cut like Keenan this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company. Get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. I really appreciate you joining me today. And this news is about two men that have been jailed for a triple shooting with a Scorpion submachine gun that took place in Hackney in 2020. Dave Nathan reported from the scene and got the coverage of the forensics at work afterwards when three people were injured during this. Today, a drill rapper called Blacker from ZT has been found guilty alongside another man. The initial reports back in 2020 said that a 24-year-old man was shot and he's fighting for his life on Hummington High Street last night. This happened on October the 11th and two other men, aged 60 and 32, were taken to hospital with non-life-threatening injuries after gunshots were fired just after 11pm. Detectives from the Trident Specialist Crime Command were investigating and they were asking anybody for information in relation to the shooting. And strangely, there is no media coverage on this actual case. And I'm wondering if there's going to be more details released a bit later on. But so far, Hackney Police have just said in a statement, a very brief one, that on the 24th of the 2nd, 2022, Sheikh Adiba, 21 years old, that is Blacker, and Fahim Rahman, 34 years old, were found guilty of three attempted murders and also possession of a Scorpion submachine gun at Nisbet House, E9, on the 11th of the 10th, 2020. ZT stands for Zero Tolerance and it was a group that was based in East London that started to make drill music and several of their members including Lats and Dabs and Ballistic are currently in prison. Their popularity was at their peak in 2019 and 2020 before music videos started getting taken down by the police due to references made to real life crimes. Some of his most viewed music is on mixtape madness. Freedom's priceless. priceless But I fell in love with the beef So it ain't gonna stop Fully get more violent Never. Same you still lying and dying, dying. Retaliation date expires Then us most still crying They turned laugh as they turned him laughless And his songs were so controversial at one point He was just listing victims That he'd attacked or tried to attempt to kill And of course it's going to be very difficult To justify the music When the connections to some of these crimes Is so very obvious Music and rap has always been a way for people to express themselves. But when you're sending direct disses to other people, it will only ever provoke a reaction. And this is the main reason the police apply for criminal behaviour orders to stop people from rapping about certain aspects of gang and criminal activity. And it's only when you see the reality of what has actually happened on the street and the amount of people that nearly got killed, does this actually make sense? And is this constructive for the production of music as well? Or is it going to make it harder for artists in the future to try to overcome the stigma associated because of what Drill has done? So I'll definitely keep you updated if they do release any more information about the trial when they do sentence them because they haven't been sentenced yet. But for three attempted murders and possession of a semi-automatic weapon, you can definitely expect a couple of years. So I really appreciate you joining me. Please leave your comments below and I'll get back to as many people as possible. And don't forget to follow online as well at Scar City Studios on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter and Facebook. Peace. I handle break and I'm not down for a chase. So I pretty don't blow like a C4. I pretty don't blow like my burners fake.